Hello, Arthur. What brings a pathologist like you into the land of the living? I wanted to look at the notes for the patient of yours that we've just opened up. Uh, please, help yourself. A shame you weren't downstairs just now, Director. A case from Professor Prufeder's department. Alongside the syphilis, which had been diagnosed, there also was a tumour in the cerebellum that apparently had not caused any symptoms at all. It makes you wonder how anyone can believe in divine providence when some people don't even live to find out everything that's medically wrong with them. <laughs> Good morning, Dr. Adler. Morning. I wonder if I might have a quick squint at the notes for the patient with a kidney tumour. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Oxford. What was your name again? Oh, Freud's point. That is a name and a half. It's not exactly short and sweet, I'll admit. No, but splendid nonetheless. It reminds me of alpine peaks and snowfields. <laughs> there was no albumin in the blood? None. We tested every day. It only started to appear right at the end, at quite high levels. That's true. It was only there for the last three days. Ah, uh, yes, I see now. People can say what they like, but you can't beat the nadi when it comes to diagnosis. What do people like to say? Sorry? He used the phrase, people can say what they like, so I was asking what they do like to say. Don't jump down my throat, Flugfelder. All I meant is that diagnosis is the forty in this department, not treatment. You are all too fond of experimenting on patients, in my humble opinion. But Adler, this is internal medicine. What else can we do if we can't see what's going on inside the patient? We have to try new remedies, if the old ones don't work. Uh -huh. And yesterday's wonder drugs are tomorrow's dead losses. It's not your fault. I used to play that game too. But all that groping around in the dark drives you mad. That's why I escaped into a pathological anatomy. There, I can see what I'm doing. I'm in charge. No. You did x-rays as well? Huh. Do you really think that in such cases... We feel obliged to try everything. Especially when there's nothing to lose. And that's neither self-indulgence nor grandstanding, whatever people might think. And they shouldn't hold it against the professor. Who's holding it against him? Certainly not me. I know you're not, but some do. There will always be critical voices. And envious ones. Of course. If you're successful and you get things done, then Ali should take it as a compliment. He can't complain, can he? Private practice in the grandest circles, and some that pay rather well. Professor, director of the Empress Elizabeth Hospital. He deserves it. Goodness knows he had to work hard enough to get this place off the ground. Of course, of course. And I'm the last person to do him down. And it's all the more of an achievement in the current climate. I can say that because I've never made any secrets of my Jewish roots, even though my mother is from an old Viennese family. And I'm glad to see you giving Bernardi due credit, Flugfelder. Sorry, what do you mean? Oh, and you a German nationalist when you were a student? Yes, and an anti-Semite. I still am in general. But now I'm anti-Aryan too. On the whole, I find my fellow men to be a miserable lot.